what's good youtube the truth here and i'm back with another video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe like the video leave a comment and i'll be back with content daily now what do we say about when a fighter lose what do guys always do huh when aj lost when um whenever anyone had any type of problems what do they do throw them to the trainer of the year and right now the trainer of the year is Derek James. So if you guys didn't know the news, Ryan Garcia is not with Joe Goosen no more. He is not with Canelo's camp no more. He is with Derek James. Now, at first, you know, I had that that thought that I'm saying right now, like, oh, this storm to the trainer of the year. Are you serious? Like th this guy is like, you, you, you can't just fix everything. Like. <laughs> You, they did this with Virgil Hunter. They did it with Robert Garcia. Like, you, you can't just throw all these guys to the trainer of the year and then, like, expect magic to happen. But I look closer at it. And I, I remember my critiques of Ryan. And it's fundamental shit. It's all little shit. It's all fundamental shit. And I said, like, yo, if he takes time to really show dedication to the sport and love the sport and study the sport in and out, he can become something. He can really become something. And I'm pretty sure after that quitting, because he did quit, after that quitting situation, um, I believe he probably has a chip on his shoulder. And he's like, he's probably thinking like, damn, everyone thinks I'm a quitter. That's just not happening again. So that tends to happen sometimes. When, when a guy's called Devin Haney Chinny, you know what he said? Oh, that's not happening again, you know? So I believe he's gonna work even harder to make sure that he's not i see him doing abs and uh doing sit-ups so like you know he's working on it already but back to what i was saying so he needs to fix little stuff like his footwork opening his eyes when he punches um yeah head movement blocking shots with his keeping his chin tucked like just he has little shit man just fundamental shit and there's no coach that goes more fundamental than I thought Robert Garcia would be a good pick, but there's another coach that's really, really fundamental, and that is Derek James. Now, there's no slack in here. This ain't Reynoso, this ain't Joe Goosen, like there's no slacking in this camp. We got we got serious hitters right now. <laughs> He walks in the gym, he sees some serious hitters. You got Earl Spence fighting for Undisputed. You got uh, a guy in his division, or a division under now, um, Frank Martin, who's a real contender, hungry. He wants it too. You got Jamel Charlo, the Undisputed champion. He wants it too. And you got, um, <laughs> we'll call it CTE AJ. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No jokes, no jokes. But you got AJ who's a former world champion, and I, I think he's hungry. I, I honestly don't know, but he's a, he's a champion nevertheless, or a former champion, so he's gonna bring that mentality too. So I feel like this would be really helpful for Ryan, man. You got all these good guys, all these big names around you. You're gonna wanna push yourself. You're gonna wanna get better, especially with all the hungry guys. I feel like it's gonna push guys like AJ and, um, and Ryan, cause like, when you see when you, when you're with someone who's really getting it and then you're like doing your little shit you're gonna push harder and i promise you he's gonna push harder and it just all depends i don't know how like uh strict tight derrick james is but i'm just assuming he is but i'm pretty sure he wouldn't lie to ryan he wouldn't let he wouldn't just sit on standby like joe goosen so it could be a good fit man if, if ryan is serious about changing the perception of him and um like getting actually better at boxing i can really see him doing something with derrick james especially at 140 man so i'm really excited for this guy's comeback um that's a good that's a good ass uh pick i would have picked robert garcia they're pretty much the same but you know it's 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 a good ass pick they'll fit well with his style because if you notice with ryan he Reynoso tried to implement what Canelo does, and, and Canelo likes to do a lot of head movement and waist movement. But Ryan's a tall, like stand-up guy. Like he, he doesn't fight like that. So I feel like this um, high guard, fundamental chin tuck style, 
they use head movement too but they find a way to block punches with their with their gloves and they're very tight with their offense and defense so with that game plan with uh, Derek James I think it'll be a great fit for Ryan Garcia and I can't wait for his next fight but anyways that's it for today's video let me know in the comments who do you think Ryan should fight next I got rolling let me know but anyways like the video leave a comment subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one peace